Hello everyone, Amud here from Retarget Comment YouTube channel and today I am going to start a new playlist on Git concepts. As we know that Git is an important skill and it should be, it is important for developers and testers. So I am going to start with the basics first and then we will see the all the concepts of Git in this playlist. So let's start with version control system. Okay. And I think that is the beginning point before we jump to the Git term. Okay. So before uh, understanding or before going through with the definition of VCS or that is called version control system, let's understand why we need something new here. Okay. So let me give one real time scenario first. Okay. So like uh, suppose you are working on a document okay or suppose maybe research task given by your boss and uh, you have uh, done a lot of research and then you created one one document one research document and you submitted it for review to your manager. So what happens your manager reviews your work and he gives you a lot of comments okay and he asks you to remove some content and add some new content okay so you go and start working on the review comments and you remove some comment remove some content whatever your manager asks you to do so and you submitted it again for the review so once uh, manager is reviewing it again on this means the second time he finds or he suggests that whatever content you had before the first review okay the same contain to put it back okay so here if you are smart enough here and you have saved the previous version previous version of your work then you can easily get it right you can revert all the changes okay but suppose if you have not then maybe you need to rework you need to get all the uh, research and again and then to create the document right or complete your uh, work so something here uh, i use the term versions like right? so version means you are going to store or you are going to have the changes whatever you are doing in your uh, making in your document or research task you are keeping the versions means you are keeping the what you call you can say that uh, a copy of your work at a particular time okay means uh, before i submitted the for the first review i had this content so once i submitted for the review so i incorporated all the comments so this is my second version of uh, your work okay and after the second review when major asks you to just get me the first uh, whatever was the original document get it back so you know that you need version one here okay if you have stored or you have made the different versions of your work then only you can achieve this one but if you have not done then you are lost you have lost all your works you need to redo it so whatever example i shared just now this is happening in real time as well in our day to do day to day activities in it industry so suppose if you are writing some code okay and you have changed uh, some file or some code uh, file codings written by someone else right so you go and add some new lines of code to add a new functionality okay but because of that new code written by you it's breaking up the application okay so obviously you need to immediately take your changes back right there's uh, because of your code the application is breaking up right so you need you need the old code you need to restore the files whatever was earlier before you made any changes right so in this in this sub scenarios if you are not storing a storing your copy or uh, history of your file then obviously you cannot get it back it will be really difficult you need to take the help from your uh, other developer who has written the code okay so in short we need something we need something which will help to solve these problems by keeping the history of your file okay and history means what was changed who has added okay means everything history should have everything like who ha who means the what changes have been done and also it will help you to collaboration uh, collaborate in the team as well okay because in one team there might be multiple people who are working 
ओके एंड एंड ऑफ द डे और एंड ऑफ द स्प्रिंट और वॉट एवर यू फॉलो सो वी नीड टू मर्ज द कोड देन ओनली यू कैन हैव वन कंप्लीट फीचर डेवलप्ड और एप्लीकेशन डेवलप्ड ओके सो इन दैट स्नेज ऑल्सो इट इज रियली डिफिकल्ट टू मर्ज द कोड मैनुअली ओके डेवलप वन सेंड द फाइल ओके दीज आर माई चेंज इज सेकेंड सेकेंड डेवलपर विल ऑल्सो चेंज also send the mail like that and then someone will be there who is going to merge everything no that is not the way right there should be one system which can help us to merge the code automatically okay so that uh, uh, anyone can get the latest uh, code uh, also because suppose if the another developer comes he wants to add some uh, new new lines of code okay so he is obviously he need to add the new lines in the updated depository right Ab updated code uh, it's uh, he should not work on the old code like that right so there are multiple scenarios multiple uh, uh, condition in which we require something which can keep the track uh, and keep the track keep the history of your uh, files okay what was changed when where when it was changed and by whom it was changed okay so for all this we required a system called version control system that is called vcs okay so let's go to the definition of his and definition of uh, version control system so a version control system is a utility or software okay which helps us to track and manage changes to a file system or code repo okay the term is like help us to track and manage changes to a file system okay for a better collaboration among developers to develop an application it can keep a history of changes in a file including who has changed and what was changed okay so main thing the main concept or main funda of vcs to keep the track of changes made to your file or repo so what are what are the advantage of vcs so first one like faster development obviously if we have any tool which can help us to merge the code of all the developers then obviously the development will be faster okay then backup and recovery so here um, recovery i gave the example like suppose because of new lines of code application broken then there should be way that you can revert the changes okay you can get the old copy of your code and you can deploy it again so that your application will be up okay and uh backup here so let me give one more example suppose you are writing the code right and you are storing in your local system okay and suppose your local system is corrupted suddenly then all codes are gone right but suppose if we storing this all this chain all these codes at some place centralized place from where you can make the changes and you can uh, post or you can store that new version in that uh, um, central server and anyone can anyone else can get the updated code from code from there okay something like centralized one okay so that that is provided the vcs then branching so branching you may not understand all these terms as of now but yeah as of now you can understand in one project my, there might be multiple developers who are working to build an application okay and they might be working on different modules okay so that modules as of now you can understand that as a branch okay because after completion of the module they are going to merge it right then only your application will be complete okay then it is heart of devops obviously because devops uh, is for the continuous integration and that is only possible if all the codes are merged and placed in a centralized repository okay and sharing again because we have one central server here so that anyone can get the latest code and anyone can work on the um code and they can post or they can store that new code to the centralized server and everyone will get their updated code okay then security okay obviously because if uh, because only the authorized users can see your code they can make the changes and they can uh, save or they can whatever they want to do only the authorized people can do it okay so you are achieving the security 
okay so don't worry if you're not getting all these terms but when you see the git concepts in detail in the upcoming videos then you will make then all the points will make sense to you okay i am assuming that you are not aware of anything in git so it's like again types of vcs uh, what is uh, like what are types we have for version control system one is like local vcs means where you are going to store everything locally okay means you are like in the first scenario where you are going to create the version 1 version 2 version 3 of your work okay by yourself in that you are not going to have everything like every history what was changed like at what time those things are missing there okay centralized vcs means you are going to have one server and you are going to store everything there okay with the so the first and second is only difference like in local you are going to have everything in your system or some another system okay in the centralized vcs you can have a server okay on everyone will have access to server everyone means who is authorized to have okay then distributed vcs okay this is the major term and git is a distributed vcs so actually whatever is in distributed vcs like everyone okay like suppose there are 10 developers in a team so all the developers will have the repo okay all your code suppose if it is code so all the code with the full history okay so we'll see this thing in real time in the upcoming videos but as of now you can understand like in the distributed vcs uh, git is git is uh, an example of it and we'll see that how all the developers in a team will have the code with the full history full version history okay so yeah that's all in this video so if you are uh, don't worry if you're not understanding all the terms here but as of now you can understand that we need a system which can help us to keep the history of changes done to your code base okay and for this we are going to use get okay you can take uh, this point from this video and once i cover the git concept so you can come back and again watch this video and you can understand whatever terms we are talking about that is making sense okay but if you are aware of some concept of git so obviously this might be making sense to you but don't worry if you are uh, like beginner so wait uh, stay with me and i will cover all the git concepts okay so if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you have if you like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone